In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Max 3100 pulse oximeter with Arduino Nano and display the heart rate and blood oxygen on a 16 into 2 I2C supported LCD module and also send the blood oxygen and heart rate or pulse rate values to the Android application designed in Android Studio using the wireless Bluetooth technology. The heart rate or pulse rate or heartbeat is measured in BPM which is also known as the beats per minute while the blood oxygen concentration is measured in percentage. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. You can also disconnect the LCD and only use the Android cell phone application for monitoring. You can use any of these two or you can use both at the same time for monitoring the BPM and blood oxygen values. I have already explained the very basics in my first video on the Max 3100 pulse oximeter. In this tutorial, I interfaced the Max 3100 pulse oximeter with Arduino Uno and displayed the blood oxygen and heart rate information on the 16 into 2 LCD module. To take this project to another level and to reduce the wiring and to make it more user friendly, I decided to use the I2C 16 into 2 LCD display module and the HC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module to wirelessly monitor the blood oxygen and heart rate values using a Bluetooth supported Android cell phone application. I have tried my level best to keep everything simple by modifying the previous circuit diagram and Arduino code. So I highly recommend watch my previous video on the Max 3100 pulse oximeter. The Android application used for monitoring the blood oxygen and heart rate values can be downloaded from my website electronicclinic.com or you can follow my tutorials on how to design Android cell phone applications for monitoring sensors and controlling electrical devices. I'll provide links to all the related tutorials in the description. In this tutorial we will cover number one modified circuit diagram using Bluetooth I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD module and Arduino Nano. Number 2. Interfacing and soldering the components. Number 3. Modified Arduino code and finally number 4. Testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Max 3100 pulse oximeter used for monitoring the blood oxygen and heart rate. As per the system block diagram which is available in the data sheet, it clearly shows that there should be small distance between the sensor and finger. The MAX3100 operates from 1.8 volt and 3.3 volt power supplies. As you can see clearly, the GY-MAX3100 pulse oximeter has a total of 5 male headers which are clearly labeled as VN, Ground, SCL, SDA and INT. This is an I2C supported sensor and communicates with the Arduino board through I2C communication bus. If you want to know more about the Max 3100 pulse oximeter sensor, then watch my first video. This is an I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD display module. The Max 3100 pulse oximeter also uses the I2C bus. So using only two pins A4 and A5, we can communicate with both the modules. If you want to know in detail about the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD display module like its libraries fixing the basic issues etc then watch my video tutorial on how to use the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD with Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module I will provide a link in the description 
This is the modified circuit diagram. The Arduino Nano is powered up using the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jack. This is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Make sure the power supply voltage does not exceed the input voltage limit of the LM7805 voltage regulator. The regulated voltage is then connected with the VN pin of the Arduino Nano. Don't forget to connect the ground of the power supply with the ground pin of the Arduino board. For the best performance, you can also add a heat sink with the 7805 voltage regulator. The MAX3100 pulse oximeter sensor connection with the Arduino remains the same. This time, I added an I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD. The SDA and SCL pins of the 16 into 2 LCD are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A4 and A5, while the VCC and ground pins of the LCD I2C converter are connected with the 5 volt and ground. The RX and TX pins of the HC05 Bluetooth module are connected with the Arduino pins 2 and 3, while the ground and plus 5 volt pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with the ground and 5 volts of the Arduino. For the easy connections, I designed a PCB board for the Arduino Nano, which can be used as the development board. This PCB is manufactured by the PCB company. As you can see, the quality is really great, the screen is quite clear, and the yellow color solar mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. Next, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. Finally, I connected the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD, MAX3100 pulse oximeter and the HC05 Bluetooth module. This is the same exact program with a very little modification. I added the I2C supported liquid crystal library and defined pins as for the circuit diagram. In the wide loop function, I added instructions for sending the BPM and oxygen percentage values to the Android cell phone application and also added instructions for displaying the BPM and oxygen percentage values on the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD module. The circuit diagram, libraries and program can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.